Hello everyone. So, it's snowing. So I decided to make my dog Nara a sweater, right? Actually, last night I ordered a dog jacket for her online, but then it's like it's gonna not it's not gonna get here until the mid of February, and it's snowing right now. She wants to go outside, but she's super cold because Nara, my dog. She's from Florida, so she doesn't know what snow is. And she's like, what is this? She's like tiptoeing in it and all that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I make a really quick dog sweater from a scarf. Hope you enjoy. So to start off, you're going to need a few measurements from your dog. So right here, I'm just using some yarn to measure Nara. And... First, you're going to need the length from their neck all the way down to their down their back. Like if they're a girl dog, you can make it longer. But if it's a boy dog, you know, make it a little shorter so that they can still use the restroom and everything. And then you're also going to need the measurement of like the thickest part of their body, which is usually like their chest area. You're going to take this all down, just write it down. So for each measurement you take, you're going to have to add two inches for seam allowance. And just for reference, my dog is about 25 to 30 pounds. She's two years old and her length was 16 inches. And then her width was 21 inches. And then for the neck piece, I'm just guesstimating about like 17 inches just to, you know, Give her some space so for me since i'm using this um fleece scarf i took the measurements and cut out each piece accordingly but if you have one large piece you can just cut it out easier into like one big rectangle and then a neck piece but for me since i had to like um yeah that's my brother's cat since i had to um like make it wider, I had to cut the scarf a certain way and then connect it again. But do what you have to do for your dog, right? If your dog's smaller, you could probably use a scarf and get away with it. But if it's really bigger, I would recommend grabbing like one full piece of fleece like that you get like out of the fabric store and stuff like that. Or getting multiple scarves or actually even using like a real sweatshirt and just cutting out of that. to test which side of your fleece if you're using fleece is like the good side all you have to do is like stretch it right and whichever way it wants to fold it's folding towards the bad side right it's pointing this way this is the bad side so this is the good side and then this one that's the bad side this is the good side good sides together and we sew if you have like one big piece of fleece fabric, you don't have to do this. I'm just sewing this together to make one huge piece. But yeah. So, now I have a piece like this and I'm gonna close this side also. Okay, so now you have a tube. Now you're gonna take your neck piece of fabric, right? You're gonna fold it, well, which side's the pretty side? This side is a nice side. So I'm gonna fold it like this, long ways, and just sew down here. Now that you have your tube like this, you're gonna close it up and sew it along here also. Now you're going to have their piece for their neck. <laughs> okay, so these are the pieces that you should have so far. This long tube and this little neck piece, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this tube like this. And we're going to attach it here, right? So this tube is like smaller than the chest piece, but we're going to make it gather. 
So we're gonna put the tube through here, like this, right? And we're gonna pin this in place, so. This can be a little trickier as you sew, since they're not the same, but I would say is like stretch this neck piece as you try to sew along, right? And if you add a few like pleats in there, it's okay. Like it's just for your dog. If you want it to be perfect, you can try to make it stretched really, really wide and then sew it like that. So I have some pins. I'm just gonna try to align it all nice. So mine, I have like two seams on each side, so I want the seamless side without any seams to be on top. And for the neck piece, this gathered piece, I want it to be at the bottom. So place it as you like. And pin it in place. A tip that I would give is when you're sewing through many layers of fabric like this fleece, it can be kind of tough. So I would recommend using the hand sewing part of your sewing machine and just like hand move the needle because you could break the needle and this just makes things a little easier. Since this is gonna be the neck piece, if you want, you can hem the bottom, right? So. Flip it inside out. I'm gonna fold over just about like an inch. Fold it over about an inch to make it, you know, if you want it to be nice and neat on the other side. This is what your dog's sweater will be looking like. This nice tube with this neck piece, right? So now for the armholes. This is the bottom of my sweater where her chest will be. So I'm gonna find the little armholes by like folding it in half, right? So this is the chest and this is where her armhole will go. I'm folding it in half so like I can just mark it off nice and easy. So I'm just like really guesstimating but just take a pin and mark about three inches away from the neckline like here and then about an inch and an inch and a half away from the bottom piece and then all I'm gonna do is mark it on both sides, right? I'm just gonna cut like a little hole, a little circle out of it. It's gonna pinch the fabric, make a little, ooh, these scissors kind of suck, but a little cut. Actually, maybe a little bit bigger. <laughs> so, this is what the dog sweater looks like so far. Just this little tube with little armholes. And since I'm a little extra, I'm going to embroider my dog's name onto the collar. So yeah, you can watch that if you want. <laughs> or if not, like you can always add something in the back or onto the side or more embellishment just to make it more like your dog.
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope your dog sweater came out real cute and your doggy loves it. But like the video if you liked it and subscribe to see more. Peace and I'll see you later.